there guys and welcome to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is Julita and today I will be telling you about a famous Fabergé egg winter so without further ado let's get started Peter Karl Fabergé a famous Russian jeweler lived between 1846 and 1920 he was best known for his famous Fabergé eggs which are highly valued up to this day for example his first imperial eastern egg is currently valued at 33 million dollars. His famous Fabergé eggs, or as they call it in Russian, Yaitso Fabergé, were created using precious metals and gemstones. They were created by the jewelry firm House of Fabergé based in St. Petersburg. It is believed that as many as 69 eggs were created, with 57 of them surviving up to this day. Out of all those eggs, the most valuable are the 52 imperial eggs. Out of those, 46 survived up until this day. These imperial eggs were made for the Russian Tsars Alexander III and Nicholas II as Easter gift for the precious wives and mothers. The winter egg that we're talking about today was given by the Tsar Nicholas II to his mother, Dowager Empress Maria Fedorovna, in 1913. This winter egg symbolized the transition from winter to spring. And when the egg is closed, the spring flowers appear as if through misty frost inside the eyes. You can see that the egg rests on a rock crystal base and it appears as if the rock is melting. The egg itself is detachable from the base with ice crystals engraved on the inside. The outside ice crystals were decorated with over 1,500 rose diamond and platinum details, reminding us of frost. As it opens vertically, we can see the surprise. It's a flower basket made of platinum and gold and studded with over 1,000 diamonds. The flowers inside are anemones, an early spring flower. It grows across Europe and Western Asia, reaching as far as Caucasus mountains in Turkey. Going back to the winter egg, its flowers are realistically carved from white quartz, with its centers made from tamantoid. At the same time, you can see the stems emerging from a gold moss. They, as well as stamens, the reproductive parts of the flower are made of gold. Lastly, the leaves are carved in nephrite. The base of the basket engraves Fabergé 1913. Here, just above the rose gold and set platinum border, you can see a Capuchin moonstone, which is painted with the date 1913. A British jeweler snowman one wrote in his book The Art of Karl Fabergé in Russia, where the winters are long and ruthless, the first sign of spring they on a special significance as the flower becomes a symbol of happiness and renewed hope. This Easter egg was completed by the workmaster Albert Holmstrom and designed by Alma Peel. In 1912, Alma was asked to quickly complete a 40-piece commission to a Dr. Emanuel Novel. Then she drew her inspiration from the sunlight, sparkling through the chilly workshop windows. The sight reminded her of an enchanted garden the frost flowers. Shortly after, she was asked to design an imperial eastern egg for the year of 1913, creating the famous winter egg. Therefore, this winter egg brings to mind the melting ice and the spring flowers that appear at the end of the ruthless Russian winter. In 2022, this egg was sold to a private collector in Qatar for $9.6 million in a Christie's auction in New York. I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something new about the famous winter egg of Fabergé. And thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next videos. Bye!